now go a little broader than technologies. We need innovations in four areas. We need mitigation technologies. These include anything that reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Sub $100 per kilowatt hour batteries, artificial trees, with much greater efficiency than photosynthesis at removing carbon from the atmosphere and that can be deployed at scale at maybe no more than $100 per ton of CO2 extracted marine permaculture arrays ocean iron fertilization who knows, maybe nuclear power or cost-effective bioenergy or even fossil fuel carbon capture and storage we need adaptation technologies. These include anything that helps us adjust not only to a world with a different climate, but one with an ever-changing climate. We need Appropriate changes of crops Global deployment of air conditioning Improved tracking of disease spread One of the biggest areas for adaptation will be if coastal cities no longer work. About 15,000 years ago, sea level rose fast, nearly 30 meters in 1,000 years. That's almost one foot per decade, for 1,000 years. Floating airports and ports. Floating cities. Movable buildings. Sea level rise, Wikipedia. We need policy innovations. The most directly relevant is a carbon tax, such as Citizens Climate Lobby and others have valiantly fought for election finance and voter suppression need a lot of work flood insurance needs to reflect actual risk. Rather than subsidizing flood zone development what should U.S. immigration policy be when there are 200 million refugees from no longer livable or ungovernable countries? Finally, we need awareness innovations. Climate change is especially difficult to address because it's like smoking cigarettes. At first the smoke looked great, because from power plants it meant jobs and power and economic vitality, or that the smoker is very cool because all the movie stars smoked on screen. The warming and ocean acidification, and lung cancer and emphysema happen years later. Now the world has a nasty smoker's cough, we're addicted, and it's tough to quit. We need education, especially to improve scientific literacy and understanding of our cognitive biases videos and infographics and articles and books and classes politician awareness which means we need voter activism family members and friends and neighbors and colleagues helping inform each other we'll see innovations from the lists above and many more, in all these areas. The only question, and it's a borderline existential question, is, will they arrive in time?